Enantiomers. What are enantiomers? If you look at this uh, tetrahedral molecule, the carbon, uh, with four different groups attached, and this is uh, the tetrahedral structure of this molecule, carbon in the center and four different groups attached. If you look at this particular molecule through a mirror, and this compound and this mirror image, you can just see these are the two. Uh, you know, this is uh, the object, this is the molecule, and this is its mirror image. This is how this compound will look like through a mirror. And these two, you know, uh, compounds will be non superimposable. If you take this molecule, the mirror image of this compound here, right? If you take this one and, you know, try to superimpose on this one, it will not be possible to superimpose it completely, right? If you take the carbon, it will be on the carbon. Hydrogen will, you know, uh, superimposed with the bromine. So these two molecules are non-superimposable. A molecule which is non-superimposable on its mirror image are called as enantiomers. So enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images. So enantiomers are non-superimposable mirror images. A molecule that is non-superimposable to its uh, mirror image is called as chiral. So like this molecule, a carbon with four different groups attached, if you look at it you know, through the mirror, and this will be its mirror image, this is how its mirror image looks like. And now if you try to put this molecule, the mirror image, on, the, on, on the, you know, this object here, the groups will not superimpose. The A will superimpose with A, but these three groups will not superimpose completely. So we say that these two molecules are non-superimposable to each other. And here this is called as a chiral center. A chiral center or a stereocenter is the carbon is the center you know, which is attached with the four different groups. Correct. A carbon which is attached with the four different groups is chiral. For a molecule to be chiral, you should have a carbon atom attached with the four different groups. And if you look at a molecule where you have a chiral center or a stereocenter, and you, if you look at this molecule through the through this mirror, it will be non-superimposable on its mirror image. So these are enantiomers, right? These are enantiomers also. Here we have a carbon attached, you know, with the four different groups at chlorine, chlorine, bromine, hydrohydrogen, and these two compounds, you know, when you look at this one through the mirror, this will be similar image, and this will not be superimposable on it. So these are enantiomers. These two are enantiomers. For a molecule to be chiral, it should have four different groups attached. Suppose this carbon, four different groups attached, so this is chiral. And if you look at this molecule through the mirror, its mirror image will be non-superimposable on it. If you look at this molecule through the mirror, this will be its mirror image, right? This will be its mirror image. And these two will be non-superimposable on each other. So the non-superimposable mirror images are uh, enantiomers. So these two are enantiomers. Here in this case, you got the carbon with four different groups, four similar groups. So this is methane, this is not chiral, right? This is a chiral molecule. And a chiral molecule, if you look at, you know, through this mirror image, through the mirror, it will be superimposable on its mirror image, right? A chiral molecules are superimposable with its mirror image. Here you can see another molecule, carbon, with two hydrogen atoms and two different groups, right? Again, it is a chiral because for a molecule to be chiral, it should have all the four different groups attached to it different, right? Here, you have two hydrogen atoms, similar atoms, so it will be achiral. That means, again, this molecule will be superimposable to its mirror image because achiral molecules are superimposable, right? Here, and there, another molecule, this is not a chiral center, this is the chiral center, right? Because you have a carbon, with four different groups attached to it. And if you look at this molecule through the mirror, it will be non-superimposable on its mirror image. Let's see, this is the methyl, and 
here you will see the hydrogen you'll see this one OCH3 and this one will be the C2 CH2 CH3 these two molecules are non superimposable right so therefore these are enantiomers all right molecules with one stereocenter are always chiral so you have a molecule with a one stereocenter here one stereocenter here one stereocenter here and here one stereocenter so these are chiral molecules chiral molecules cannot have a plane of symmetry you know a plane of symmetry is a plane which can cut a molecule into two equal half such that one part is a mirror image of the other if you look at this molecule and you 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 know uh, you look at this molecule through this plane this is a plane of symmetry if you cut this molecule through this plane the left side will be the mirror image of this right side and since this molecule is a chiral why because it is attached with the four similar groups it's not chiral rather it is a chiral right and a chiral molecules do have a plane of symmetry right now look at this molecule again you have a carbon with three similar atoms attached so again this is a chiral you got a carbon with two similar groups attached to it here and two similar here right again this is a chiral because we learned that for a molecule to be chiral it should have all the four groups different attached to it like you have here a carbon with four different groups attached chlorine bromine fluorine iodine so this one is chiral this molecule is chiral here again you look at this molecule you got a carbon and it has two similar you know atoms here hydrogen atoms so again you can cut it through this plane and this left side will be the mirror image of this right side and again you know since this it has two hydrogen atoms attached so this is again a, a chiral and what we find we find a chiral molecules do have a plane of symmetry and the plane of a symmetry bisects a molecule so that one half of the molecule is the mirror image of the other half while as a chiral molecules while as chiral molecules do not have a plane of symmetry right a chiral molecules have a plane of symmetry but chiral molecules do not have a plane of symmetry so the so basic you know requirement for a molecule to be chiral is that it should not have a plane of symmetry and a chiral molecules do have a plane of symmetry a molecule which has a plane of a symmetry is always a chiral but a molecule which does not have a plane of symmetry will be chiral and that molecule when you look at through this you know mirror it will be non superimposable on its mirror image so let's try to find out which molecule is chiral and which is a chiral here look at this molecule is it chiral or not yes this is chiral why because it has a chiral center it has a stereo center here a carbon with four different groups attached hydrogen here bromine methyl group and this propyl group right four different groups attached so this is a chiral center this is a stereo center here right this is a stereo center here see this carbon is not chiral because it has three hydrogens attached three similar groups again this is not chiral this is not chiral center this is not a chiral center while this one is a chiral center so this more whole molecule is chiral because if it has a one chiral center the molecule is chiral now look at this one another molecule 2 bromopentane the first carbon is not chiral second carbon is not chiral right what about this one the third carbon is it chiral hydrogen bromine different ethyl group different and here is again the ethyl this is the same so again this molecule is not chiral right this is again a chiral molecule because it has two similar groups the ethyl groups you know here the ethyl and here also the ethyl these two are similar so again it's not chiral this carbon is not chiral this carbon is not chiral so the molecule is not chiral while as this molecule is chiral you see this chiral center 
it has four different groups methyl this is ethyl this is propyl and this is the butyl so four different groups so this is the chiral center and this molecule is chiral the other carbon atoms are not chiral see this is not chiral this is not chiral because two hydrogens three hydrogens two here again this is not so this one this one this one and these are not chiral centers only this one is a chiral center so the molecule is chiral for a molecule to be chiral it should have a one a stereo center right it should have a one chiral center a carbon with four different groups attached and when you look at this molecule through the mirror it will be non superimposable on this mirror image so those two will be called as enantiomers now at the molecule here you can see four different groups methyl hydroxyl and this one and this one totally different so this is chiral molecule so it has a chiral center look at this one one two epoxy propane this carbon is not chiral why because it has two similar atoms hydrogens what about the central carbon this is the chiral why because it has a hydrogen a methyl and o oxygen och2 from this side here this group and this group is different right so you can see that you know this particular carbon you can look at look like it you know it's having hydrogen a methyl group and och2 from the one side and from the other side you can see it is ch2o right so different groups so this is a chiral center right so the molecule is chiral again this molecule is chiral how about this one is it chiral yes it is why because it has a chiral center here is a carbon with four different groups this is the one this is second and this one is different than this one right how can you say you know this is different because if you move from this carbon to this position this is 3 this is the ch2 here right and here again ch2 so so far it is similar but then you move here it is the ch double bond right and here it is ch2 now there's a difference in the sequence right this group is different than this group so that's why this is a chiral center four different groups attached so therefore this is a chiral center so the molecule here is again now we can see it is a chiral molecule look at this molecule here a carbon with hydro hydrogen oh and what about these two are these different or similar let's see first you move here this is the carbon and double bond it with the hydrogen right it is like this and here the fifth one is ch2 so these two are different groups right this group is different than this one because you have a different sequence of atoms here you have a ch you know carbon with double bond you have a ch2 here so these two are different so you can say this molecule here is it has a chiral center and the molecule will be called as chiral right because it has a stereo center a carbon with the four different groups attached look at this molecule here hydrogen hydroxide different and now look at here this is the ch2 this is the ch2 right so same then you move here you got a carbon with a double bond here you got a carbon with a double bond so almost you know you can see this this group here and this group here is almost similar right it is exactly the same so therefore the molecule is not chiral because it does not have a chiral center these two groups will be treated as similar groups right so this is a chiral hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now